Hey everyone, I'd like to show you some cool things we can do with text wrapping inside of InDesign, specifically with Photoshop documents and any paths that they might contain. So we're going to explore that inside of this document in just a few moments, but I first want to show you this document and let's just do a quick uh, two minute summary of text wrapping inside of InDesign. So in this document just here, you can see I indeed have some text wrapping going on just down the bottom here. I have three layers inside of this layers panel. My text is on the top layer, my image is on the bottom layer, and the object which is controlling my text wrapping is on this middle layer just in here. So you don't need to have as many layers as I do, guys. I like to have all these layers so I can easily turn on and off the visibility of things and lock things. You could actually have all this mushed into a single layer if you wished, totally up to you. So let's unlock this text wrap object layer if I make a selection through here, you can see there's the object which is controlling my text wrapping. Another important thing to remember everyone, you don't apply text wrap to the text. You select whatever object you want the text to wrap around that. That object is what you apply the text wrapping to. So let's do a quick demo of that. If I just delete that there like so, let's do a super quick example. If I just grab my ellipse tool here, if I drag out this object here like so, uh, if I come up to my text wrap panel, up under window, text wrap is where you will find that. The first option means no text wrap. The second one is wrapping text around the outer boundary, which isn't helping us here, the bounding box in this case. The third one is what we want just in here, wrap around object shape. So perfect, so the third button is working well for us. So let's delete this quickly and draw a more appropriate shape just here. So let's grab my pen tool. I'm just pressing P to bring that up. Guys, I'm going to draw this super quickly and I'll explore some of the more uh, specifics of the pen tool inside of Photoshop in just a few moments. So let me just draw a shape around here like so. So click and drag, click and drag. Okay, this is looking good. Get all the way around the outside of my document and I'll close this off. Now, we have a black stroke on this. Obviously we want this object to be invisible. So from within the swatches panel, I can go after the fill and the stroke and I can just set them to none. So excellent, we have an object which is still selected and we are going to now put some text wrap options on that. So just from the text wrap panel, let's hit that third button and fantastic, there's our text wrap going on. Very nice. Uh, a nice little option which might also help you out everybody. This guy just here, uh, top offset, if I just uh, increase this a few times, you can actually see that we can push the text away from any paths that we've drawn and if I bring that down, we can bring that back again like so. Okay, super quick summary of text wrapping. Let's dive into this document just here. This is a slightly simpler document. It has only two layers. I have my text on the top layer just here and my image layer just here is where my Photoshop file lives. So if I unlock that image layer and if I select this, you can see from within the links panel, it's indeed a Photoshop file, one that I've called the rock. So the rock.psd just here. Please note, this is really interesting. We have an image that covers the entire document, but you can see the text wrap is actually happening through here. So that's one of the powers of setting up a path in Photoshop, which we would do in just a moment. So again, pointing out the text wrap is happening through the middle of the document, but the actual image itself is still covering the entire document. So let's, uh, let's dive into Photoshop. And I have that same file open you can see just up here, the rock.psd. So that is the path that I had created that is controlling that text wrap, but I'm just going to select that, throw it away, and let's start again from scratch. So actually, let's just prove there's no funny business going on. So if I just save that, if I come back into InDesign, if we, within the links panel, double click to update this, you can see the text wrap actually fails because that Photoshop path has suddenly disappeared. So I'm just going to turn that off. You can see there's no text wrap going on inside of here. And let's come back into Photoshop and build that path. So same as InDesign, press P to bring up your pen tool. And I'll zoom in a little just here. So click and drag, click and drag. Again, we're clicking and dragging to bring up those nice little handles there. Again, I won't make this super accurate guys, just for the sake of time. And I'm going to get all the way around here like so, excellent. So that's already looking pretty good. But let's uh, let's look at some tips for how we can finesse this path. So 
If we press the A key on our keyboard, it gets us to these two tools here. Actually, A and then Shift A will toggle us between the Path Selection Tool and the Direct Selection Tool. So the Path Selection Tool, if I zoom out here, you can see allows us to move the entire path around. That's not what we want. We want the Direct Selection Tool. So if I zoom in here, for example, so I'm just going to click away and then select this individual point, I can easily move that point around. Not just move the point, but I can also move its control handles as well there. So I can actually bend this contour to any shape we want. So I can extend these handles, shorten the handles, roll them around, and again, pick up the entire point and move it around like so. Another cool uh, tool to be aware of is this little guy just down under the pen tool. It's the convert point tool. So with that selected, if I come out to one of these points just here, if I click on that, I turn it into a hard corner. If I click and drag, I can turn it into a soft corner with those control handles. So basically, whichever point you have, you can turn it into the other kind of point using this tool. So again, a soft corner, click on that, you turn it into a hard corner. If you have a hard corner, click and drag, turn it into a soft corner with those control handles. You could then go and grab the direct selection tool and continue to manipulate those handles there like so. Okay, so this is looking pretty good, guys. We're nearly ready to dive back into WinDesign, but before we do that, we have to save our path, okay? It's currently just a uh, temporary path, a work path just up here. If we just double click on that, let's give it a new name. So I'll literally call it new path, just to give it a different name, just so you know that there's nothing residual hanging around from before. So we've got our path called new path. Let me save that dive back into InDesign. You can see that the Photoshop file within the links panel, there's an exclamation mark just up here, reminding us that this file is out of date. So if I just double click to update that, this file is now up to date. So let's now reinstigate that text wrap. So my image is selected. From within text wrap, let's go and choose that third option just there, wrap around object shape. And you can see it's already snapped in very, very nicely. And if you don't immediately see that happen, uh, check your type option. For example, it may be set to something like bounding box or detect edges. Depends what you've been doing previously. In this case, after you click on that third button, you need to come down to the contour options, set it to Photoshop path, and then any Photoshop paths that you have saved in your document will appear just in here. So uh, one thing that I might like to do, and I have done in the past, is I might actually save multiple paths within a document and use different paths from this dropdown for the text wrap. So we have a live Photoshop document in here. So there's a live link between these two files. So we can easily change that Photoshop file at any stage, and that will update here inside of InDesign. So for example, let's say I wanted to change the curve of the path just through here. Let's dive back into Photoshop, and I'll zoom in just here like so, grabbing my direct selection tool, I can easily come through here, make some changes. Oop, excuse me. Make some changes. Very nice. Save that. Dive back into InDesign. Make sure we double click the exclamation mark just up there. Or the alternative is the actual file itself, guys. I'll just press W to get us out of that preview mode. You can also see that same icon showing up just here. We can just do a single click on that. There we go, it is now updated and you can see the text wrap has updated accordingly in our InDesign file just here. So that's it guys. I hope that um, gives you some cool ideas about some design things that you can do. So that's our text wrapping inside of InDesign using a Photoshop file and then paths contained within that Photoshop file.